Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make yet another website and we're going to go over some of the basics and show you how to add social media and a few other extras that's really going to help you create that website that's perfect for your restaurant or your cooking or however you want to do. Alright, so if you haven't already, do subscribe and drop a comment and let us know what you think about the videos. And to get started, we're going back to the main site, my sites on Wix.com. We're going to create a yet another new site. We're going to allow just a moment for it to load and while it's loading uh, we can take some time to really think about what we want to do and why really is it so important for us to even when we're promoting our website for any kind of business why it's important to have some kind of social media all right so now we have what kind of website it should be since we're going to do a restaurant and food we're going to go back again click on this and we can either do the ADI, which is going to, again, going to let you just answer a few questions, and it's going to create that. We don't want that. We're going to use a template with those thousands of designs. Edit to the template, and here we go. All right, so we have catering, chefs, restaurants, the cafe and bakery, bar and club, food and drinks. So today, we did the Italian restaurant before, so today we're going to do a bar and club. And when you click on this, it's going to give you all of the templates based just on bars and clubs. And this is what's really going to grab people on social media and what we're going to do here with that as well. Okay. All right. Now we have a bar, 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 bar. You can see they're all different bar templates. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Just click view and see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have a gallery here. Very cool. All right. Here's another club. Let's see, we have events. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll build events as well and show you how to create that event. All right. Pretty basic here. All right. Let's work with this one. Uh, we can work with this one pretty well. Seems pretty cool. So we're going to do edit. All right. And it's going to load up. All right. Now we have our bar website pulled up and loaded. And let's just take a look. And it's pretty simple. It's just events here. We have an event page, it's telling you about I'm a paragraph, you can see more button. All right, opening hours, okay, pretty basic. Uh, it's a pretty uh, basic website here, a template to kind of work with. But we're going to add some more. Uh, let's see, we have reservations, venue, menu, upcoming events. All right, so change in the name. Uh, we can edit the text. All right, let's go down, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. again, bold, italics, and let's see. All right, I'm going to click again, and I'm going to double click, and I'm going to delete, and I'm just going to give it a general name, the best club in town. All right, and we could change this picture as well. And so the best club in town, we change that. And the events, mm -hmm -hmm. telephone number, we can change. You can double click and highlight, and you can just change this the same, however you want. Uh, I think no one uses fax, but okay. Uh, so you can change all of this the same way. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, let's change this background. Uh, we're going to double click the background, change background here. Selected, apply to other pages we can. Mm -hmm. Go to image. And we're going to pull up the different images we can choose from. And if you already have an image for you, you can, of course, upload the media here. And we're going to choose media from Wix today and look at what kind of bars uh, they have in the search bar and use that template to use. All right, let's say nightclub. All right, we have our nightclub coming up. <laughs> and you can do videos as well. You can upload a video in the background. Give it just a moment. I want to load up all the options. All right, let's see. All right, so we have a lot of cool backgrounds just for nightclub. Uh, girls night out, let's see, night at the theater. We have uh, night lights, a lot of cool pictures actually to choose from. Uh, <laughs> Let's choose something a little catchy. City at night. Here we go. Let's choose this background. We're going to double click, change background. And 
it should change for us. There we go. All right. Now that's our new background. Now that's what we choose. Of course, you can choose your own if you have your own photos. Uh, okay. All right. Now events. Let's add an event page. Right. Uh, so let's first go to menu and pages. Let's take out the venue. I'll let this load. And let's see what they have here. Okay. Some pictures. So we have a cool little gallery. Uh, we could change that gallery too, the same as we did with the uh, the restaurant, the Italian restaurant. You can change that the same. Just double click, manage media, and when you click on manage media, it's going to take you to uh, here we go. It's going to take you to the dashboard, and we can change or edit these pictures how you want. Okay, we'll let this load. All right, now we have the media. Now these are some pretty cool pictures. Uh, we change them the same just by clicking on the picture we want to change, replace the image, or you can just click, kind of scroll over it, and you can see remove it from the gallery as well. Maybe you don't you like these pictures, but you don't want to have them in this order. You can just drag and drop and rearrange the order for them uh, to how you wish, right? And that's going to change this look for you. And there you go. All right, we'll put this one here, number two, and we go. Now, you can also add media. Uh, if you want to add additional to this, you can. The same. And you can add the description, so when you hover over it, you can see uh, all right here as well. And you can add a link when you create it as well. All right, so that's how we can do with that. But we're not going to touch the venue. It's just pictures here, nothing really more. Uh, all right, and we can do the design. When you go to the design, you can do the buttons, the scroll over, to click on the pictures, the text as well. Uh, so you can have the title, the description, and you can change uh, on image, you know, the info on it as well. Or if you want it to kind of hang above it or underneath, this is on the image. Uh, probably it's better to have above or underneath, as you can see, whichever you want. You can have the basic. We can change the heading to something a little bit more interesting this there you go all right we can exit out uh, horizontal alignment you can have these you can change them as well uh, to what position of that text you want to be now you can have it out automatically or manually you can have space between as well and that's how we can really design that media all right now that's not what we're doing today but let's go ahead and go over now I'm going to add a new page and we're going to go to blank page here. I want the new one. And we can just say events, right? You have reservations uh, or upcoming events, which is already there, but I want to change it anyways. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, just to show you again how to create that, let's see. Events tonight. We can have. Right on here, they already have upcoming events, but just to add it, and we are finished. Events tonight. Now, when we go to events that are coming up, venue upcoming events, it'll take us to that page, and there you go. Upcoming events, and this tells you the date and time. Just double click, and you can delete the, all of this and do it yourself, or you can just edit it uh, the same just by clicking and deleting. So, so. Just like this, July 17th, right? All right, and here we go. This is the days. Now call us to make a booking, blah, 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 blah. You can do the same. Now, what if we don't want this, right? This is why I created this page to make a blank page for you guys. Uh, now, if you don't want this, you can delete it as well. Uh, let's see, we can create forms. Uh, but I am going to go to my blank page here at Reservate Events tonight. All right. Now, this is mine. This is just the empty page that we created, Events Tonight, to really show you how to add forms or how to add an event as well. Right here, you see Events. Click Events. We're going to add it to the site. All right, adding links and events, and here we go. Now, if you notice, like the other one, it just said it was pretty basic, right? So just the text and, hey, this is the events, but it's not so catchy, let's be honest. So we're going to do this just from here. Now, so we're letting this load up now. All right. Good to go. 
Okay. Now we have the events. Now, all right. This is the basic. Now let's manage the events. And it's going to take us to yet another dashboard. And we're going to change some pictures. We're going to put some dates. And we're going to have this as well. And we're going to add a form as well. Uh, it's, it's all pretty quick. So in 15, 20 minutes, you can really kind of kind of put together a really fast rough draft uh, on your site. Uh, depending on if you are really, if you kind of like take a notebook and paper and like, okay, I want my site to say this, I have that, uh, you have it. If you want certain pictures to be there, I'm, I'm sure you've already kind of designed it as well, or if you're going to use Wix templates, they already have a bunch of them for you. But if you're going to create it almost completely from scratch and just kind of using some kind of an idea, as you see, uh, for the basic uh, website design, uh, you can just add your images, change the image, delete, and just add and move them how you want. Uh, so that's super cool, and that's where Wix really helps you too. Because if you have no idea, you can still do this. This might take a little bit longer to kind of go through all of the templates that it has, but that's pretty fast too. All right. Now, so we have this. Uh, this is the new event draft. You have a ticketed event or RSVP, uh, wait list for weddings, some private events, and parties. Uh, I want to do one for you about a ticketed event. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, create one. All right. Event name, we're going to call it um, Night at Roxbury. Pretty good film. Night at Roxbury. Uh, July 27th at uh, it's too early. I'm going to put 10 p.m. in time. Uh, 28th at 4 o'clock. All right. Now we're going to go down. Mm, location. You can put the physical location or online. So when you click on the physical location, you're going to add it here. So you can say 1 through 5, 4. Virginia, look, this is what? Woodbrook Court. We can say Woodbrook Court, and it's going to show a map as well, and we can go ahead and kind of go ahead and start. All right, so create the event. All right, now we're going to set up the event. We need to add tickets because you want to get paid for that event, right? Not at the Roxbury. All right, so now tickets. Let's go to tickets for this. Let's get started. Ticket name, we're going to call it VIP as it gives. VIP, for sale, of course, a limited quality. Let's say that's a good one, a 100 price. We're going to say 100. All right, and let's say let's say dollars right. so you have a bunch of offers based on your time and where you're selling them uh, do, 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 do. let's see US dollar okay all right you can do a discount if you want you can add a coupon uh, I'm not really gonna do that now but I already showed you to before when we we're doing tickets and bin pass fee on the buyer uh, we want to do that, so it's going to be $102.50 for each ticket, and you can create a ticket policy. So when you create a ticket policy, it's just saying, hey, there's no refund, blah, 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 please get in touch, looking forward to seeing you there, right, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you can have this, and this is optional as well. And all right, no refunds, have a good time. All right, now we have that, and we are done. So let's save. Always do save your work as you continue. Now registration. Registration kiosk. Guests can register for your event. Uh, payment method. I'm not going to do it. It's pretty fast, uh, but because I'm not going to give you all of my information. Uh, all right, Wix events registration page on a different page or web address. Guests don't need to register on my Wix events registration page. And this is what we have. And now, it's only going to open up here when we publish the event, right? And so we don't need to necessarily do that right now. All right. Now, let's go back to uh, the drafts. Nine rocks for you see it. And I'm going to go back to edit. All right. That's the registration. Emails. 
You can get email alerts to kind of see where who's going to be. Confirmation, let Gus know that it's been confirmed. And you can change that. The reminder and invoices as well. Orders. Now, once you publish your event, you'll be able to track and manage how many people bought tickets or the guest list as well. And this is it. This is how we created our event. All right. Now, so we finished with this. Let's exit out. That's our event. Okay. Now, when I click, we can go to settings. And this is going to show you automatically the Wix events as well. And you can go to design. We can do the text design or the image. And I want to change the images as well. So you can just kind of create this. You can select. And you can delete this picture or add one as well. Now, RSVP. Uh, we can see everything here. All right. All right. Now, uh, we went back here to the dashboard because I want to show you how to uh, edit this photo. You'll click on this again. We're able to add some pictures as well. This is a ticketed event. All right, let's go down. Oh, video conferencing, we're going to set that up. I'm going to tell you about that. Ah, and now we can add a picture right here. Here we go. And we're going to choose media Wix. And we can search, and we can say club. And we're letting it load, and you can see we have this pictures here to choose from. <laughs> Alright, that looks pretty cool. Disco club. Alright, let's choose disco club, add the page. Alright, now we have that picture. Alright, now that's our event. Let's save. All right, fantastic. Okay. Now, mm -hmm, physical location, just double check. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And here we go. Now, let's exit out. Okay. And we're just going to double check. All right, my events, upcoming events, multiple events, or a single event. All right. Now here we go. Now the upcoming events. This is events tonight. We can change that just by clicking. And this is everything that we need to do. Now, uh, let's see. This is what they have. Virginia, West Village. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. All right. Now, uh, so we got this. We kind of got it set up. We didn't change the picture yet. So when we click, we can delete the picture or delete all of it, uh, or go back and show it again. Now, I'm going to go back to undo. And it's going to bring us right back. Okay. Now we double click this week's events. Don't forget, now we're going to go back to design here. We're going to design the images as well, and you can kind of do the image capacity and it will change it, and you can see. Uh, but this is just kind of basic what we did here. All right, pages support display. You can change it and the layout as well. But we're going to go to my events now. I want to go exactly right back to where I was. Uh, so we're going to go to settings. It's going to show this up again. Manage events to go back to this because we haven't exactly published yet. But I'm going to show you when you kind of check it out. Go back and forth. Now we're going to show you exactly where to find how to publish this event specifically. All right. Now, go back to drafts because we didn't finish. And we can go to publish. Uh, now here you can duplicate it or delete it. And you can edit it here again. But here, to publish is what we want to do. Now it's published. Now it's finished. That's our, that's it. That's our new event. So, now it's exactly published for you guys. Now, when you come back here to my events, there we go. All right. So, now that we have this one, upcoming events, now you can see it actually shows our picture. Uh, so, this is actually my events published, and you can create a new one right here as well. And it's ticketed. So, you can RSVP, 
Uh, and let's go to the preview so you can actually see it in play. All right. Now RSVP. There you go. And it takes you right at it. Night of Roxbury. Time, location, price, $100 per service fee. And there you go. It even shows the map location here. All right. So that's it. That's it for here. Now, on this page, I like this. But I also want you to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and all information. So here is going to be my opportunity to show you guys how to add social media. So going back to editor, and you're going to see our event. It's going to load. Right. There's our, there it goes about this event. Yes. Now, you, know, you can double click on this too, and it will actually... Give you all your details so you can come back to customize the page manage events and have this to the same place where we did everything before and there's our spot now uh now we have that let's add our social media so go to the ad we're going to come down and we're going to go to social and we're going to see all of the social options so you can of course add twitter pinterest vk line facebook uh, pinterest everything and there's a wonderful little social bar. Mm, that's not our colors, really, because we kind of have this blackish, grayish color. I'm going to go with this version. And I'm going to drag. And I want this to be beside this button. So I'm just going to drop it here. And when you click on it once, set social links. Very important. When you set the social links, it takes you to the tab. Select one. If you have your URL, you're going to place it right here, and then, oh, that's cool, place this one, place this one, right? But if you don't have a Pinterest, we can just delete it. If you have YouTube, you have it, maybe not best for there, but we have these three. So we have Tumblr, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, and Twitter. And just when you click on one, you're going to put your URL, the link, and then when you're finished, done. And that's going to link everything to your site. So done. And then when you click. So all you have to do is when you click on one button, it takes you to that page for each individual tab. So your social media is set up. We also have that event set up. So you can even post the same event with the pictures, the same information on Facebook. You can share videos, which is really cool too uh, to do and very fast. Now you can share this event as you see on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as it's the same what we set up here as well. All right, now this is set up exactly here. So now you already know how to add your event, your ticket event, and you can come back and check and sell this and get all this information the same from events page. All right, guys, I enjoyed having you here. Please check us out because we're gonna do some more restaurants as well. We're gonna show you how to add some pictures. We're going to change a little bit more information. So I can't wait to see you then. Don't forget to subscribe, drop us a comment, and tell us what you wanna see next.